Hello, welcome to our weekly live attorney chat. I am attorney Desiree Coger Gustafson with Immigration for Couples. We regularly come on and do these weekly chats to discuss new um, updates with in the immigration world, as well as comments or questions that we are hearing from people throughout our consultations or even our Facebook page. So if you are new to our page and didn't understand why we would be coming live, that is why we regularly do this on Thursdays at 11 hour time, Eastern Standard Time. And um, so if you are watching us live and have a question or a comment, feel free to put that into the comment section and I will get to that if I can today. If not, or if it's a more lengthy um, or a common question that we are hearing, I will come on and do another live video just like that, um, just like this on that issue in particular. So today I'd like to discuss USCIS updates. We've had two of them recently that would impact our world. Of course, um, the world of mostly fiancé, spousal visas, naturalizations, holistic services for our clients and their families. And that being the first one that's the kind of the biggest is that the USCIS has dropped their um, COVID-19 policies, emergency policies. And this will impact us the most with regard to um, telephonic interviews. So um, they are now or have been in the past always requiring people to be present for interviews, attorneys included, if you wanted to serve as attorney representing that client or that particular family. We have been able to, throughout COVID, provide that service via telephone. And this may be um, something that they are not as readily available to do or allowing. Um, that remains to be seen, but that's probably the avenue that we're going to see that the most um, with regard to this new kind of dropping of that emergency protocol. Um, obviously, some things might look different as well around um, the offices if you're attending interviews and such. So just know that all of those kind of grace periods and those things should be coming to an end. Um, due to that new recent update. The second one that I thought I'd go through today is the expiration or the removal of the 60-day requirement for civil surgeons reports. So as you may be aware, anyone who files for an adjustment of status, so this would be somebody who has um, a means to do so, so whether it's a familial-based um, application, but you're applying for that green card to adjusting your status to a green card holder or legal permanent resident, you have to undergo a medical exam. Sometimes that medical exam is waived. If you've had one, um, you came here via fiance visa, it's the most common we see. And so you've had a medical exam at in that foreign country. Um, you do not need to do another medical exam here in the U.S. But usually it used to be a decade ago, I've been practicing immigration law for more than a decade at this point, about 15 years. And it used to be that you would have the medical exam, you would get that last, and you would send that in with the application because that medical exam could not be dated more than 60 days. A lot happened um, in that period of time. Um, we had uh, medical exams be lost. We had we saw the, ex the um, adjudication times just balloon, and that caused some of those medical exams, when you submitted them with the application, that caused them to then expire before the application was adjudicated, and you'd have to go through the process of getting another medical exam. So lots of things were kind of put into place. Now, we um, this really won't impact us a whole lot because we do not provide them. Um, normally with our initial applications, we'll provide them later to ensure that they do not get lost or um, hopefully ensure they don't get lost. But just know that now they've removed that 60-day um, requirement. So that, those are our USCIS updates for this week. Obviously, you can check out a lot more of our videos, tons of videos on um, 
immigration processes, even some specifics at www.immigrationforcouples.com. If you click on that resources tab, it will have a lot of different resources for you um, in videos as to what could possibly be your next step or your question that, um, that you are thinking of. So thanks so much for watching today. We will come back to you live next Thursday as well. Feel free to like and share our page if you know of somebody who may um, be of interest or may have a similar question or be in that situation. Um, they would find some resources with our page as well. If you're watching this on replay, you can comment hashtag replay and put your question in the, the comment section and we will get to that as well in a different live broadcast. We will see you next week.